I think there's something cool about taking something that seems a little mundane and everyday and kind of, I feel like when you scratch the surface, you can find cool stories anywhere. Especially with this barbershop in particular, there is a sense of community and there is something unique about it. I think there is a degree of trust between a barber and their clientele and it's like, it can kind of break down this wall where if you're maybe feeling a little more vulnerable and you can open up and get really good, honest conversation about a range of different things. Same glasses, different color, you know? Yeah. Even just hanging out in the shop for a couple days, I think you really see that. You see people being themselves. <laughs> I'm so what are we um, setting up here for, mate? So, we've got our um, beautiful Martin sitting in front of us. <laughs> Just kind of setting the lights, trying to set the mood mm -hmm. for the shoot. The FX3 is great just for its portability and I think it's the reason that I decided to go ahead with that camera is just because it's easily riggable. Like I wanted to kind of incorporate this raw, honest conversation with something that's leaning into the style that I like as well visually and kind of blending the two. I've shot a lot of interviews and it's always a bit of a struggle to make it feel dynamic so being able to have that kind of movement happening, it'll hopefully make it feel a bit more engaging. We had a camera on a motorised slider and we could do that without having to pull focus. That was just tracking our talent the whole way through and it didn't miss focus once. So I think that's pretty impressive and definitely makes life easier for us. Tomorrow we're going to play around with some rigging on this camera. There's a few kind of different mounting points on the FX3 which I'm keen to put on a magic arm and attach it to a barber chair or strap it to the ceiling. Yeah, I'm just I'm keen to get creative with different kind of ways of like mounting this camera. So we're attaching the camera to this shaver and I think this is just gonna be a great way to show off how easily riggable this camera is and how you can really um, unlock creative shots. I really want to incorporate, you know, different types of camera angles. I want to attach a camera to a razor and have it flying around, things like that, that kind of go along with like the vibe of the shop still. It still feels like it's a part of their story. I think the approach that I wanted to take was just kind of being a fly on the wall and getting a lot of this like, kind of natural conversation. I felt like the fact that the camera was so small allowed people to open up and I, I feel like they completely forgot I was even there. I think that allowed us to get some really great natural conversation that maybe we wouldn't have gotten otherwise with a, with a heavier, larger camera. The inbuilt stabilization is also great. I love shooting handheld, it's my preferred style, but I also tend to get quite shaky by the end of the day. And I find that the inbuilt stabilization on the, on the FX3 is, is great. It's kind of like in between a gimbal and handheld. It kind of has its own kind of feeling, but it still feels, it feels really natural to me. This is always a fun one, but is there, do you have any advice for an aspiring filmmaker? I am one. <laughs> uh, I think my advice would be make time to do personal projects. I think it is really important to set aside time to do your own personal work. And I think that's generally when I, f I feel the most like personal growth as well, is like working on projects for myself. I, I heard a quote where it's like, if your next project doesn't make you feel sick, then what's the point? It's good to feel like a sense of progression in your work and to just keep pushing, like there's always room for improvement. Story is key, but good gear goes a long way and I think that it's become more accessible and easier to use than ever. I think it's just really exciting to have a camera that has amazing colour science, full frame, it's compact. No, it really does free you up to be creative. I guess the most compelling thing for me is just learning about people different cultures and kind of like immersing myself in that world to find an interesting story and I find that along the way you kind of do you kind of just befriend these people it's nice <laughs>